Hello everyone, in this video what we are going to see is Git Merge. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. So in order to get started with this scenario, I have created one new repository and I have added two HTML pages, add page HTML and then index page HTML. And I have cloned this particular repository in my local and I have opened with VS Code. So if you want to do the same, just go here and select VS Code here. So it will clone and it will open something like this. Now let's get started. I'm going to create a new branch in order to make my changes. So in order to do it, if you see currently I'm in main branch. So let me select this and click on new branch. And here I need to provide a new branch name. Let me provide it as div. So div is my branch name. Let me click on enter. And if you see here, your new branch have been created and this is having name as div. Now let's start making some changes in this. I'm going to make changes in the index.html. The first changes, welcome home. And here I'm going to provide an email ID. If you see here, I have added an email ID. And let's save this. And let's go to source control. And if you see here, this is the only change, double click on it. and and you will get to see what are the changes we have made we have modified the existing line and we have added a new line so let's stage it right click stage and in order to commit it let me add a comment message and commit it so by the time i'm just working on these changes what happened is and another developer he had came and he had created a new branch in his local with uh, some other name and he had made some changes and he merged back to main branch. So what he did is he had added website information here. So initially when we created a dev branch, we don't have these changes, but now the main branch is having a new change, which we don't have in our dev branch. And now let's talk about line number 10 in the main branch line number 10 is having a commit where we have added the website information and those commit is not available in the dev branch our dev branch is lagging behind a commit and we are actually trying to edit the same line on the same file where the we are lagging behind a commit and this is where the conflict occurs so let me show what it will do so now the developer parallelly working on the changes now this developer is publishing this changes and if you just click on this drop down, now we get to see the new branch which we have pushed. And if you switch, you will get to see option create a pull request here. Or you can go here and just ignore this. And you can click on create new pull request. And I'm trying to raise a pull request to merge the changes from dev to main branch. And you will get to see the changes as well. If you do this, in next screen, it, you will see conflict merge. Why? Because you have edited the same file, same line. The main branch is having new changes, but that doesn't available in dev branch. So this is why it is showing a conflict. So in order to solve it, what you need to do is you need to move. First, you need to pull whatever the changes you have in main branch and you need to merge to dev branch and then you push your changes and then you can come back to this pull request and we will see what will happen so now let's get back here so let me switch to main branch first if you see or uh, let me close this if you see in the main branch uh, in the index page you are not seeing the changes because those changes are available in the remote location which means the online version but here in the local main branch it is not available so in order to do it just click on pull so what it will happen, it will pull what are the changes available there in the remote location, Lo remote location in the sense, what are you see it here. Now, what we will do, we will move, we will merge what are the changes we have in the main branch into dev branch. And then we will test our dev branch and then only we will push our changes. So now let's switch to dev branch first and click on the three dot and go here to branch merge and if you click on merge it is saying select a branch or tag to merge from 
from which branch you want to merge i want to merge from main branch okay so if you see here it is showing what are the conflict areas this is where the conflict behind this is the header part and this is the this is where it ends and if you see here current changes current changes in the sense what you have in your dev branch and this is incoming changes which is what you have in the main branch and you get to see these various option over here so let's see one by one if you click on accept current change you will have only your dev branch changes and let's control z and you see accept incoming changes which mean whatever in the main branch that will appear here in the dev branch so which means your email id information is now gone and let me control z and accept both the changes and this is what we exactly need so we need email id and website so both information we need and let's save it and here in the source control if you see it is clearly showing the merge changes okay now if you just right click and stage the changes and it is already having a comment message let's click on continue and then sync it so now we are pushing to the dev branch and click on ok so before pushing it make sure you are testing this whatever you have in your dev branch everything is tested out now let's come back here and if you refresh there is no merge conflict and if you see here uh, the home whatever you are going to add right the title is appearing here and the email id information you are going to add that is appearing here that's it so now if you just click on complete merge you will get to see various options we have already discussed uh, this option in a separate video and i'm going to delete this dev branch after merging let's click on merge yeah everything done now let's go here and currently i'm in main branch and if you see all those changes are here so this is how we will resolve a merge conflict if you will find this video helpful just come on helpful i have planned a lot of videos and i will be uploading one by one so stay subscribed and thank you for watching Bye bye